Did you see the Trump interview? Now, folks, I can't believe it. Trump actually saying some good shit. Now, I know what he's doing this. He's coming out uh, pro-vaccine. And it's clear the reason he's doing this is because so many Republicans are dying off. We've seen the charts where it's like, what, 10 times more people dying from Trump counties than uh, Joe Biden counties. And when you have elections that are razor thin, all these deaths are really adding up and they're scaring him. And also he wants credit because the vaccine is saving a lot of lives and he wants, you know, he's an egomaniac. He wants all the fucking credit. So he's uh, doing this interview with Candace Owens, anti-vaxxer, conspiracy theorist Candace Owens, and uh, actually telling the truth to what she seems a little shocked by. Let's play the clip. Vaccine is one of the greatest achievements of mankind. We would have had a 1917, remember the Spanish flu, killed perhaps 100 million people. Actually, it ended the First World War because the soldiers were so, a lot of people don't know that. The soldiers got so sick. It was a terrible thing. There were no vaccines. There was no anything. I came up with a vaccine, with three vaccines. He did it by himself, All folks. are very, very good. He did it. Came up with three of them in less than nine months. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to take five to 12 Super years. Super genius Trump. And, and yet we more saved... people have died under COVID this year, by the way, right. under Joe Biden. It's Joe Biden's fault. Than under you. And more people took the vaccine this year. So people are questioning how... Well, no, the vaccine worked, but yeah. some people aren't taking it. The ones, the ones that get very sick and go to the hospital are the ones that don't take the vaccine. Vaccine... Like, oh, shit! Trump's whole base bunch of anti-vax idiots and he's coming out for the vax not gonna go well but before i show you how poorly it's going for him here's another one he's talking to her about schools and he does t- say something true but he also says bullshit i'll play the clip and i'll explain it i don't like to see the kids with the masks on they're sitting in school they have a hard enough time sitting in school it's like china i've been to it's, china uh, well and yet china's education system is a hell of a lot better than ours you know Yeah, I don't want to see the kids sitting in the schools with masks on. They have a hard enough time sitting there. But China, wearing plenty of masks in their schools, and they have really good schools, so it's almost like masks have nothing whatsoever to do with the quality of your schools. By your own logic, Donald Trump. But go ahead. You know what? They're rated number two or three, and we're rated number 44. Yeah, no shit. Not because of the mask. But like I said, folks... Now they're doing fallout. Half the Trump supporters seem pissed at him about it. The other half are either ignoring it completely or making excuses for him. Here's Candace Owens being like, Psh, don't worry about Donald Trump being pro-vaccine. He's just an idiot boomer that don't know what the fuck he's talking about. It's super cool. Things are good. And he believes that because he comes from a generation, like people you oftentimes forget like how old Trump is. He comes from a generation. I've seen other people that are older have the exact same perspective. Like they came from a time before TV, before internet, before being able to conduct their independent research, you know, and everything that they read in a newspaper it, that was pitched to them, like they believed that that was a reality. And one of those things was, you know, this push for vaccines and believing that people were going to die without vaccines. And so I believe that his support of the vaccine is genuine and it's not based in any corruption at all. I, I think he actually believes those things. And people that are saying, how is he ignoring all the people that are being injured? And, you know, people are sending rumble videos and all of these, you know, websites, obscure websites. I believe also that he only reads the mainstream media news. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Trump's definitely not online ever, is he? One thing we know about Trump is how not online constantly he is. Believe it or not, I do not believe that Trump reads um, or partakes in any other news sources. Um, You know, I don't believe that Trump is on the Internet or, you know, that he's necessarily (laughs) uses like you know Uh the the web to to try to find, you know, obscure websites. I think that he just relies on, you know, typical mainstream sources. So I don't think that there's anything evil going on there. I just wanted to say that because so many donors, supporters of his have are kind of like questioning where all of this is coming from. And I think he just genuinely believes that. Um, and he needs to sit down and, you know, have a full conversation with someone. Yeah, he had a full conversation with you. Why didn't you push back on it? Um, I'm in, I was interviewing him in that uh-huh. circumstance, but yeah. he needs to have a Don't expect conversation me to, do it. Um, to really understand what's going on. So, yeah, he's just a stupid boomer. Don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And yes, he is pushing one of the most evil things in the history of mankind that is leading to the deaths of tons of people. But it's fine. Let's still elect him president. He's still the best guy in the world. So, shit. You cannot both ways, Candace. If he's this fucking stupid to push something that is this fucking evil, how can you tell people to vote for his president? 
How can you say he's the best choice? Doesn't make any sense, but they never fucking do. So like I said, folks, they're turning on him. You love to see it. James Lindsay, this is their CRT expert, says, uh, disappointing. Trump's bleeding support over this. That's right. Finally, finally, we found something that makes Trump supporters abandon ship. Like nothing else he did. None of the embarrassing shit. None of the horrible shit they did seem to make them blink twice at him. But he actually comes out and says something correct, says something adult, says something that actually help people. And yep, now they're fleeing the show. Good. Love to see it. It's exactly who you courted, Trump. This is who you laid down in bed with. Enjoy the fleas you got. And uh, QAnon, not taking it very well. They're like, I have been crying ever since President Trump has been on this pro-vax stance in the last few days. Here's why. I have been extremely adamant I won't ever get the vax to the point where my wife left me. My two daughters have completely cut me out of their lives. I lost my job because I wouldn't get the jab. And now I've lost the house. Well, that sounds like some really bad life decisions, you fucking moron. I have my truck and at least enough money to keep the phone bill paid for a few months. I was okay with it all until this happened. This was all supposed to be for something, right? Now I feel without Trump's support that I've held my ground for no reason. Sorry, end of rant. Life is pain. Hey, my life's pretty good. It's because I'm not a fucking idiot that believes every goddamn conspiracy theory I read on the internet. And I didn't join a a cult revolving around a uh, reality show host. That's sort of on you a little bit there, dude. But kudos to your wife and your kids uh, for getting the fuck away from your sorry, crazy ass. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Ben Garrison. Remember Trump cartoonist Ben Garrison? Been sucking Trump's nuts for, what, six years now? He even turned on Trump. He drew an anti-Trump cartoon. It's Trump and his little uh, vaccine float during a parade. And uh, he says, get boosted. Vaccine bandwagon. Big Pharma free. Get the vax. Corporate media. It's safe and effective. And the Trump bones like, fear, fear. And all the MAGA hats are like, boo, boo, boo. No, no Trump. They're saying no right here. So, psh. Once you've lost Ben Garrison Trump, starting to think, might be over. I thought Trump was going to get elected again. He still might, but uh, I don't know. Might have shot himself in the foot a little bit, but it doesn't matter either way. His voters are dying off so quickly. Might be nothing he can do about it. And uh, even Alex Jones, one of the biggest supporters Trump ever thought of having. Alex Jones has turned his back on Trump. I say let him fight. Let us see it. Let's watch it. Or take credit for it. It's a great, what we've done is historic. So pause again. Sign on to it. Take credit for it. Take, just sign on, believe it. I mean, hell, we, we're, we're fighting Bill Gates and Fauci and Biden and the New World Order and Saki and, 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 and the Davos group and, and Peter Daszak. And now we got Trump on their team. We're fucked. We're fucked. Man, no wonder your wife beat the shit out of you, Alex Jones. You'd love to see it. And uh, they're even going after Candace Owens now. She going out there making excuses for Donald Trump. And one of their main accounts is like, is this a joke? I am so done with these puppets. Yeah, they go, you too, Candace Owens. These are the people you courted. I'd love to see them turn their back on you. Finally, sweet justice.